uh, every time, even now, I come walking in this beautiful stadium and it hits me really hard. So you think about the history, tradition, you look around this place and the former players have always hit me really hard. What happens to you when you walk in here? Uh, first off, my, my heart starts pumping, you know, because you think back on all the great players and, and great coaches that have been here before and the great games that have been played here in the Horseshoe and it just makes you realize there's such a responsibility when you step in here and it's hallowed ground. You know, I, uh, I was hired at Bowling Green at 36 years old and I remember a legendary uh, team chaplain, Father really grabbed me and says, you know, we need to sit down and talk. I said, okay, what do we need to talk about? And he said, do you understand the difference between making a decision and making a suggestion? And I looked at him, I said, yeah, of course. And he says, do you realize up to now in your career, all you've made is suggestions? Now you're gonna make decisions that impact a lot of people. What's your comment when you hear that? He's dead on, dead on right. And going day to day right now, you, you realize that more and more. But, you know, I think growing up as a captain, growing up as a coach, growing up as a coordinator, and as you work your way up the profession, you start to take on that responsibility more and more. And I've always wanted that. I've always wanted to have those decisions. You know, that's just the way I've always lived my life. You know, I, I want the ball in my hands. And, and so with that comes great responsibility and the consequences are higher, but uh, that's why you start putting a whistle around your neck and that's why you coach. Let's talk uh, about your career briefly. And that's uh, in 2005, we hired you as a graduate assistant at uh, Florida. Was that 40, 50 years ago? <laughs> and you were on a college journey and then your, your mentor, Chip Kelly, called you and you went to the National Football League. And many thought that was gonna be your journey. And we had, you know, we had some openings in the past and I talked to you about it. And then uh, we had a big opening about two years ago. And I made a phone call to uh, Ryan Day at San Francisco, an NFL coach, and you made the decision to join us here at Ohio State. What was your thoughts when you uh, made that decision? The only place that I would I would go in college football would have been in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, and I wanted to be a Buckeye, and you know, first off, to be in your program and, and jump onto what was going on here, but then also the tradition here and growing up and watching some of the great coaches and players that have been here before and some of the unbelievable games and the rivalry. Uh, I mean, that's why you put a whistle on your neck is to play in that rivalry game and be a part of this thing. And so. So I jumped at it. Here we are game week in the Horseshoe and uh, Buckeye Nation and, and really the country, your top five program. And um, every head coach puts their, you know, their stamp. What, what is this team going to be? What, what, what can the fans of Buckeye Nation, the Ryan Day football team, how's it going to look? Yeah, uh, it's toughness. You know, when I go back and I watch films of, of Woody, I, I listen to Earl Bruce and the, the, you know, Coach Tressel and Coach Cooper and then, and then being around you, it, it, this thing has been built on toughness and more and more we have to be tough. We have to be physically tough if we want to win the Big Ten and we want to go where we want to be. And we have to build that. And we have to be mentally tough, physically tough, emotionally tough to withstand the season. And then also the second part of that is love. And that's been a big part of what we've done. We call it tough love. And the love is the love for your brother, you know, that, that obviously you build, but we're trying to build on that, enhance that. The love for your coaches, the love for your university, for your team. And with that, I believe is the greatest motivation. You know, when you think about some of the most passionate and inspirational stories in the history of mankind, it's been over love. And so if we can combine toughness with that love, then I think we've got something special. Well, let's talk about uh, your starting quarterback field. So you went from uh, Braxton Miller, and uh, he handed the torch to JT Barrett. JT Barrett was injured, and Cardell Jones had a memorable run as a national champion, illogical run, yeah. Yeah, did a great job. And then they hand it off to, uh, JT hands it off to Dwayne Haskins. And you could, all different shapes, sizes, speeds, uh, but they all flourished. What's your thoughts on fields and just how do you get a player that's maybe different than Dwayne Haskins to flourish? Well, I think when you look at the Ohio State offense, you know, it's always been the Ohio State offense. It's, it's, it's really never changed. Sure, has it enhanced in certain areas and focused on things, yeah. But at the end of the day, you try to find what your quarterback can do well. And so when you look at uh, JT Barrett, you look at Dwayne Haskins, and now you look at Fields, they all have different skill sets. They all do certain things well. They make certain throws. They have you know, certain athletic abilities. And now what do you focus on? What do you spend your time saying, all right, here's what he does really, really well. And then you go you know, focus on those things. But last year, you know, Dwayne ran the read. You know, he pulled the ball. I think he ran it 13 times in a Maryland game. Now we didn't do that in other games, but we still had that in the offense. So uh, you know, we, we installed everything. And now what we think he does best, we'll focus on those. Every coach's dream is to hand this off, which I did to a, an elite coach that can make it stronger. The infrastructure stayed pretty much intact. Uh, how has that transition been? 
I think it's been fairly seamless, you know, and, and the good news was that, you know, it was two years of me being in the program and having relationships with these guys, but, you know, what you and Gene built there in terms of that infrastructure is unreal. Unbelievable people. Uh, they love Ohio State. They love the program. And, and now it's been, you know, let's not change things just to change things. And I think that's what we've done a really good job of is, you know, when you come in as a coach, you, know, you want to say, okay, what am I going to change to make mine? Well, wait a minute, this is working. Let's try to enhance that. And if there's some other things that maybe we want to tweak, we can along the way. But we've kind of kept it going and it's been strong so far. So Bob Davey, my dear friend, and uh, he was head coach in Notre Dame. And when I became a head coach and he would always write me a note and say at some point during a the game, there's only so many head coaches opportunities and especially a place like Ohio State and he said promise me that sometime during that game you'll appreciate what you got and so mine was the hang on sloopy since I was that big I'd watch the band play and the students and I would pop off my head I don't care what was going on some good some bad I was going to take sometimes it was 10 seconds sometimes it was two minutes I was going to enjoy every moment of that do you have a plan that's some, because you know, I'm going to write you that note, it makes you enjoy and appreciate it. Yeah, I've actually thought about that. And it's going to be when we run out of tunnel. Um, because I think when, when you stop, you know, you, you can play a whole game, as you know, coach a whole game and not even recognize what's going on because you're so caught up in the moment. And so uh, I've thought about that. And um, I remember hearing you talk about that. And I think what that's also going to remind me is that it is a game and to be aggressive and to enjoy it and to not let the, um, you know, the enormity of the situation get in the way. Go play, be aggressive. This is why you put a whistle on anything. This is why you started playing football. Look at all the people in the stands and let's go get this thing. And I'm, I'm gonna use that and, and uh, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Ryan, there's a team a little bit north of here that uh, there's a lot of ill will towards and respect towards, but a lot of uh, hatred towards. and. and the enorm enormity of the robbery is real. And uh, when I when I say that team up north or when, when you see that game on coming up on the schedule, you know, the countdown clocks, what goes through your heart? Uh, it's it's everything. It started when I first got here and uh, my son RJ went to the bus stop for the first day and there's a kid wearing a blue shirt on and they start getting into it the first day of school. And I said, well, okay, we're in it now. Uh, I remember growing up and watching the unbelievable battles that went on here and the rivalry and and then, and then I learned you have to live it every day. It's, you have to live it every day. And that's how you respect the rival because there is a respect. You know, the players up there, you know, the coaches, a lot of respect there. But at the same time, this is real. This is a way of life. And it means everything to us and it's our identity. So, uh, you know, obviously with our staff and our players living it every day is, is critical. Obviously a little misty out here, but right over there, uh, you're going to lead the Buckeyes out of the tunnel in front of uh, 110,000 people. Thoughts? Uh, I can't wait. It's time to get going. And I'm just fired up. So many of the traditions about walking over to St. John's Arena and seeing the best damn band in the land, and walking over to the stadium and then seeing that, that student body uh, before the game, after the game, singing with them afterwards and listening to them all go crazy, quick cows before the game. And, and we got one of the best student bodies in the country. Just can't wait to hear those guys go nuts. Big noon kickoff, August 31st. Sponsored by Wendy's on Fox and the Fox Sports app.